Today's video we will be going over an issue that can be quite painful and very uncomfortable. Kidney stones. But before we can talk about kidney stones, we need to first go over the kidneys and the role they play in our body. The kidneys are located near the middle of the back and act as a filter by removing waste products and excess fluids from the blood. Blood flows into the kidneys through the renal artery. Once in the kidneys, the blood flows through capillaries, which then branch off and flow into filtration structures called nephrons. Nephrons filter the blood, allowing only specific vitamins and minerals to be reabsorbed into the bloodstream while the rest becomes waste. Excess fluid and waste becomes urine, which travels down two tubes called the ureters, to the bladder, where it is then flushed out of the body through the urethra. Kidney stones are crystal-like lumps that form in the kidneys via buildup of ions released from waste products. The crystals start off as a small lump that then combine together with other smaller lumps to form a larger stone-like crystal. Smaller crystals are able to be passed through the urine, but if the crystal becomes too large it can be stuck in the ureter, which results in pain, obstruction, and possible infection in the kidneys. If this is the case, medical treatment is required. There are four main types of kidney stones, calcium stones, struvite stones, uric acid stones, and cysteine stones. Calcium stones are the most common and are found in the form of calcium oxalate. Dietary factors, high doses of vitamin D, and several metabolic disorders can increase the concentration of calcium or oxalate in the urine, leading to the development of a calcium stone. Struvite stones form in the response to an infection, such as a urinary tract infection, and can grow quite large quite quickly. Uric acid stones form in people who don't drink enough fluids and those who eat a high protein diet. Cysteine stones are formed when people have a hereditary disorder called cystinuria, which causes the kidneys to release too much cysteine into the urine. By monitoring diet and other health concerns, large kidney stones can be avoided. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching, and remember, you only have one body, so take care of it.